When ANN had the coveted opportunity to bring you the first uh, exclusive interview with the new incoming CEO of Teledyne Continental, little did we expect the genuine enthusiasm and the excitement for the job as displayed by Rhett Ross. Well, we're here at Teledyne Continental to see if that enthusiasm, especially a couple of months after the fact, is still in force. We're going to take a plant tour with the new boss of Teledyne Continental. Everything starts with the crankcase, obviously. This is your rough casting, so this is what your engine starts out as. And it'll go into this machine first, and they'll start doing some of the face machining. You end up smooth in here. And what'll happen, they do each side, so each half get basic rough, and you can see how rough it's, it's just roughed out. So go in and do fine finishing on certain surfaces. Then the final process, which is in the next center over, they bolt the two halves together for perfect matched alignment. This is where the uh, cylinder heads get deburred. What you have inside of there is it's a big shaker table. And we put special types of stones in there, let it rock, rattle, and roll, and it basically just smooths everything out, and at the same time, it provides structural improvement from a, a minor shot painting effect. We take a piece off of every crankshaft that comes in. We test it to make sure that it meets the material specifications that re we require. That's part of our process to make sure all of our crank crankshafts are good. And we do, we do not only that, but we put every one of those samples through a scanning electron microscope and we look at the actual metallurgy of the part. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Basically here, we make camshafts, conrods, and crankshafts. And we start with the rough crankshaft, and this machine over here basically does all the rough machining. Cuts off all the excess material, gets it basically down to rough net shape. All right? We then walk down to the next major machine, and it does a majority of the processes, which are, are it basically drills all of the oil holes, drills lightning holes, um, does all the final machining on hanger, uh, the hanger brackets, 0200 crankshafts. Okay. Finished crankshaft, you can see the difference. He's gone through and we'll walk down and look at the machine, but he's basically ground out all of your surfaces so that you have the right finish and everything all the way down the line all the way down through here. He's going to check his tolerances with the various tools. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Part of what we, what we do so that we can keep production moving, this is tooling. So different bits that you can see in here, different tools that the machinists can use 
they can come in here, they enter employee number, machine number, drops out, and they can go back and get their machine right back up and running rather than having to go to a tool room, find a tool guy. Now when you're all done with the process, these are at the final quality check station, but you got your hangers hung, you got all your dimensions, everything finished, any pins, any special items that need to be in there are all in there and you're ready for final buy-off and then they'll move into inventory or go to engine build wherever they need to head.